All right, what's happening, everybody? We are back for some more Mortal Kombat 1 info. So, last night, they updated the website and added the bios for the characters now. So, you can look at these if you go to game info, if you want to look at them yourself. So, they have all of them set up for each of the characters that were shown off in the trailer. So, you have Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Katana, Donny Cage, Kenshi, Kung Lao, Melina, and Raiden. Now, I'm also liking a lot of these renders so much more than 11, obviously, because, like, we're free. We're free from the Revenants, and, yeah, so here's all the bios. So, I'll look at, I, there's a, one I do want to talk about a lot more, but I'll go through each of them one by one. So, here's Liu Kang, God of Fire, having one control of the Hourglass, Liu Kang restarted history. He neutralized the threats and dangers that had come before, crafting a new era in which all begins would have the opportunity to find peace. But that peace is now threatened by an enemy that Liu Kang could have never anticipated. It will take all all of his wisdom and experience to save not only Earthrealm, but all of reality. So, definitely... I'm still not seeing Shang Tsung as the main threat, so I might have hope for Onaga. I, I think there is still hope for him. Alright, so here's Grandmaster of the Lin Kuei Sub-Zero, so uh, if you don't remember, this is Bihan. This is Bihan, not Kuai Liang. So, it says here, as the Lin Kuei's Grandmaster, Sub-Zero leads his ancient warrior clan in the defense of Earthrealm from external threats for centuries. It has been their solemn task. But, Earthrealm has been threatened um, in generations and Sub-Zero sees no point in limiting his clans or preparing for dangers that may never come. Under his leadership, the Lin Kuei will come out of the shadows and fight for its place as one of the Earthrealm's greatest great nations. Huh. So, definitely, I see Sub-Zero, in a way, just being a lot more um, aggressive. In his role, I see. I definitely see a lot more aggressive with B aggression with Behan, mainly for how this sounds. Because like it seems that he's getting bored with having being not being able to like use the Lin Kuei to like their full potential. So that may position him to uh, do things that will put the clan in danger. Uh, is what I'm hoping for. So I'll talk. I'll talk about Scorpion in a second though. But let me go to Katana. Princess of Outworld, Kitana has one purpose in life, to aid and protect her older sister, Melina, as she prepares to rule Outworld one day. The steady-handed Kitana ignores the calls of those who advocate that she should replace her impulsive star sister as heir. Instead, Kitana will defend the realm by fighting to make Melina the best empress possible. She will also fight to hide the dark secret that could end her sister's reign before it begins. So if you remember back in the first gameplay trailer, they showed off Melina um, was like in a chair, like in some sort of chair, and Katana was trying to help her. So I think that's what they were trying to talk about with that dark secret. They also say it in her bio as well, so I'm going to skip Donnie and Kenshi real quick and just go to Melina for this. So, born mere seconds ahead of her twin sister. Okay, wow, she was first, alright. Melina is the rightful heir to Outworld's throne, but even so, there are those who distrust Melina's impulsiveness. They whisper that Katana, with her steadier hand, should replace Melina as heir to the throne. As Melina fights for legitimacy, she hides a horrible secret. She is infected with the dreaded and lethal Tarkat disease. Okay, so... Huh. So they're turning... So, in the way it sounds... It, the Tarkatans, like the Tarkatans itself, or like the way she become is part Tarkatan now, is like a disease. Which is somewhat interesting. I, I kind of like that in a way. It, sort of. I think I like that concept. Where they, where they're like a disease, and they're like so, they're like ma mutated outworld people. That kind of works. But I remember somewhere in like MKX where Barack was talking about that, talking about how uh, Tarkatans have their own realm, but this is like a new continuity, so that's just being thrown out of the way. This is definitely a better Johnny design. I think after the two we had in X and 11, this is a major improvement to his, to a default outfit. In Japan's most honored families, the ta Takahashis were 
decimated in battle. They lost everything, including the emblem of their power, the revered sword, Stento. Those who survived joined the B Bakuto, a pr predecessor of the Yakuza for its protection. Yep, he is definitely Yakuza. A lot of people called it. Let's see what they changed to Lao. Born and raised in the village of Fenglan. I'm hoping I say it right. Or wait, is that a J? Okay, no, it's not a J. Kung Lao has spent his life toiling in the fields. It has been an honorable life, if not a glorious one. Kung Lao's greatest fear is that his life will amount to nothing. He prays figuratively that he will be called to do something bigger. His prayers are answered when he's asked to join Champions of Earth Realm as a, a warrior fighting for its honor. Kung Lao knows that his victories will be long remembered. Okay. Also, I'm. this gives me hope. If you look at his hat, he is definitely going to get the metal hat. He is getting the metal hat. We're safe. I am safe. I Buzzsaw might live on. The Buzzsaw might live on. Alright, so let's see Raiden. Champion of Earthrealm! Whenever I think Kung Lao is going to replace Liu Kang as champion, they do something like this. Okay, so let's see here. Alright, so let's see. So, in the village... Okay, wait, so is it the- wait, it's the same village. Okay, so they're both from the same village. Raiden was known for his kindness and his charity. He was happy to spend his days tending to the fields as well as to his friends and family. But when he is asked to leave and become one of Earthrealm's champions, Raiden hesitates. But soon he realizes that it's best to serve his village, he must join them. As threats the Earthrealm mouths, Raiden must mature into the great warrior that Liu Kang knows he can be. Okay, so... Also, yeah, if you look at his render, he actually has the amulet from MK9, interesting enough. Okay, so now finally here's Scorpion, the revered Lin Kuei warrior. Like his cherished father, Scorpion is dedicated to the Lin Kuei and its defense of Earthrealm. When his father died, Scorpion was befret. So, though his, he took pride in knowing that his brother, Sub-Zero, would succeed their father as the Lin Kuei's Grandmaster, but Sub-Zero's unprecedented moves to cast off the Lin Kuei's traditional duties have frozen Sub-Scorpion's enthusiasm. <laughs> Get it? Because he's- never mind. He fears that he may one day have to battle his brother for control of the Lin Kuei's legacy. Hmm. So, as this already stands, it, they're, they're trying- I, I see a lot of people just trying to say it's Kuai Liang still. I- I really can't see it. I really... I just don't see it, it happening. I really can't. Because I I know this is like a whole different era, but it's like the, the no, a core thing that makes Scorpion Scorpion is, what, is his identity. So, I, I know Sub -Z, I know Kwai Liang isn't like seen yet, and we don't even know what Scorpion's name is, but I definitely still think it's Hanzo Asashi. I still think it's Hanzo Asashi. Remember, they tell you who each character is as well, right off the bat. It's like, they give you all the details for like a lot of other characters in a way. So they gave you Raiden's details already about him. They threw Mali all of Molina's details in there. Hung Lao's details, Kenshi's details, Johnny's details, Katana's details. But, still Scorpion. Just, it feels like they're missing a few details. I'll only... We have to wait. We pretty much are just gonna wait for confirmation. That's going to be the big thing. I feel that in the combat cast, it will be possible. I Or maybe in the next trailer. We have to see. I'll be right. I'll be off all right if I end up being wrong. I'm just, I'm just holding out hope. That Hanzo Asashi still lives on in some way because keep in mind we don't know um, if there even is any Shirai Ryu, so that's still up for debate. So let me know what y'all think about these bios and who is Scorpion in this new era. Also, be sure to like and subscribe. We're all trying to reach 35,000 subs by the end of this year. Thank y'all for watching, and I shall see y'all soon for more Mortal Kombat.